really thought about why I raced. I think it just seemed like a logical end point to what I was doing. We were trying to enhance the performance of CJ's bike, and upon doing some research, we found some guys who raced vintage bikes, and they convinced us to focus on building a race bike and then come race with us at the end of the year down in Alabama for Barber. The Barber Vintage Festival is easily the ultimate motorcycling event in North America. My teammates and I make it a point to never miss Barber for a ton of reasons. It is the biggest race of the year that has the biggest grids, the most racers, the best competition. There's a subculture aspect to vintage motorcycles and in particular vintage racing. I don't know that it's different at Barber per se, it's just on a larger scale. They grew up with these bikes and so that's why they have a love for them. And then there's other people who go into it because they saw their parents riding it or, you know, they have that in their history. Racing, for me, is about adventure, start to finish, soup to nuts. You know, it feeds you. I wanted to be a pilot, and I figured, well, that's one step closer to, you know, flying or guiding this uh, radical machine under my own uh, control. Vintage racing completely occupies my mind and my heart and my focus when I'm doing it and it's probably the only thing in the world that can do that. I guess the reason I race vintage specifically is because I enjoy listening to the machine while I'm on it. I feel every seam and crack all, all over that track. Feeling the front wheel start to chatter, slide out from underneath you, feeling the back end whip around, pushing it to the limit, making it do things it was never intended to do. More things break, more things fall off. The metal wasn't the same as it is now. And, you know, you have to really love it in order to do it. The amount of time we put into these machines, the blood, sweat, and tears. You need to be connected to it. You need to know it, and it needs to know you. The motorcycle, it tends to uh, reach into your heart. You shouldn't feel your gloves or your suit or your helmet. It should just be part of you. You have a bond the moment you twist the throttle and start moving. When the flag drops and everything goes, like you know, every single part of your body all explodes at once. The speed and the pressure and the smell of race gas. It goes back to your childhood, you know, and the first times you rode, back to those early days, you know, just the joy of a pure day. And you, uh, you run with it. The right people are there, the right energy is there. It's that thing that can just completely push pause on my entire life and just take over for those few laps.